Hi, I'm Tim Giuliani with your Florida Chamber Daily Legislative Briefing. Today is day 46 of the 60-day legislative session. The Florida Chamber is disappointed that Governor Charlie Chris vetoed the teacher pay bill. We are still hopeful that he'll sign two other bills involving education reform that went to his desk yesterday. These two bills are, one is graduation standards, This would ensure that high school graduates have the skills they need to enter the workforce or college and a reduced number of remedial classes high school students now have to take before beginning college coursework and it will increase the value of diplomas in Florida. The other bill is a tax credit scholarship. This would expand tax credits given to corporations that donate to nonprofit scholarships. We hope the governor will sign these into law and he has seven days to do so. Also yesterday, a space infrastructure bill passed its final of three stops in the Florida Senate before going to the Senate floor. This is appropriations for Space Florida. Florida Chamber feels this is very important to keep space jobs in Florida and to keep Florida a leader in space exploration. On to today. A seaports bill will be in its final of three stops in the House. This will make it easier and faster to get a port permit in Florida with the goal of increasing importing and exporting in Florida. Also today in the House, in its final committee stop, will be a bill on instructional materials in education. This would allow school districts to use some funds for technology in a classroom that are currently restricted to only textbooks. We hope you'll learn more about these education reforms at classroomflorida.com. And we hope you'll join us tomorrow morning at floridachamber.com slash briefing.